Good morning all. So good news, uh, and you took Atmosphere Day to um, update, which is um, great for all you people in the comments that have been saying that you accidentally updated or you've been having issues. So um, I haven't installed this yet. I thought I'd get this video out as soon as I could because I know there's quite a lot of you out there who are um, frustrated that you'd update by accident and also asked me to put a video out um, and alert you guys as soon as you could. So. I've literally opened my PC and um, opened up this website and it's there. So I'm going to talk through it as I read it. Um, as I've said in the past, I don't know half of what this means. So much of it goes in my head. I'm very much a novice um, in the fact that I just install Atmosphere and use it at a very base level. Um, I don't know what a lot of these terms even mean, um, but let's crack on. So. Atmosphere 1.4.0, so it is a pre-release. Generally, that doesn't really mean much because they sort of release it to the public a day or two after. Um, very much unchanged. Um, I think Atmosphere wanted to get this out pretty quick, just um, because it was a major update and um, Atmosphere was blocked. But it looks like it was fixed fairly quickly. Um, they obviously didn't have to do too much, or well, they did, and they worked really hard. Um, Got to give credit where it's due. That they still pumped this out for free and all of us who watch these videos um, enjoy its use. So from the top, Atmosphere 1.4.0 pre-release, uh, 67th official release. Be sure to update Fusey when upgrading 1.4.0. Fusey Primary no longer exists. So Fusey Primary is going back some time now. Um, I'm going to presume none of you have Fusey Primary, primary anymore. Um, you've probably all got Fusey, but what it means is when you do download the assets just here, get the Fusey dot bin file as well because that will need updating to go with atmosphere as well so that's really important it's in bold for that reason so make sure you get the new fusey and overwrite that on your sd card so also um most of you who have um, updated by accident you're gonna have to pop your sd card out download these files and copy them over um if you haven't updated and you're still on a version that atmosphere is running um and you don't mind going online, you can use the all-in-one updater to update because it links straight to this GitHub. But um, yeah, so just remember that. So you're not going, you're going to have to pop that SD card out and uh, copy your files over, which I hate doing because SD cards corrupt all the time. And the more you pop them in and out of your console, the more chance the PC is going to corrupt it and you're going to wipe everything. But it's the life we live, I guess. And yeah, it is what it is. Um, but if you haven't uh, updated, get on that all-in-one update. And you also don't mind going online. My console is banned by Nintendo already, so I don't mind going online. Um, but yeah, update one of those ways. So, be aware this is a pre-release and issues may be found that be fixed for full release. Like I just said, it's a pre-release. If any bugs are reported in the pre-release, they'll be fixed and, and the build will be updated. 1.4.0 will transition to release after a short amount of time has passed without pressing the bugs. So that's what I said. So in about two or three days, they'll make this a full release um, and you will then uh, be able to just, you, if you've already got this version and nothing changes, don't worry about it. You won't need to update. Um, but if there are any bugs that come from it, um, they will be alerted um, via this GitHub and then they will fix them. But hopefully that's not going to be the case. Um, as always, it is bundled with HBO and HB menu. Um, it always has been. Don't worry about it, it's just homebrew stuff. And then here is the change log or patch notes or whatever you want to call them. Um, but these are changes and the only one 99% of us care about is this one here. Support was updated for 15.0.0. That's all we all care about really. Um, m pretty much all of us uh, care about that. There's going to be a handful of people that know what the rest of this means. Um, but that's all we worry about. Does it work? It does. Um, I'm going to, second I get off this video, I will be updating mine. Um, if um, for some reason it de destroys my console, bricks it, I don't think that's going to happen. I will pull this video. But um, if you are seeing this video, everything is fine. Okay. Mesophere was updated to reflect the latest official kernel behavior. Not a clue what that means. Um, and NCM was updated to reflect the latest kernel behavior. Probably, I don't even know what kernel is. It's updated on um, 
Nintendo side by looks of it, and then this just makes sure it works together with it. So it's, it's under the bracket of support 15.0.0, so I guess that was what's needed to make it work. Number of minor issues were fixed, improvements were made. So it has been since June that um, Atmosphere has been updated, so there would have been bugs that they would have found. Um, they've probably just keeping them because they weren't major, and they've updated them. I'll just quickly read through them and see if any of it makes any sense to me. I don't think it's going to. Capacity limited on registered add-on contents was fixed in NCM to reflect the increase that occurred in 12.0.0. Well, you're talking three iterations ago. Um, we're on 15, 15 now. Could be that important, but obviously it's been fixed. And off by one was fixed in Mesophere when computing the new value for address arbitrary signaled with modifier by weighting count fecal. Not clear. This is where you really think these guys, it's so much work they put into this. There's so many little bits that they have to know and understand and make work for this to work. And we're all, we all got to be so grateful to these people. I don't think you can even support them, to be honest. I don't think they take donations, but if they do, I highly recommend doing it. I'm going to have a look in a minute, see if I can donate, because I think we all benefit from this um, so much. Um, anyway, <sighs> I don't know what that means. Now sanitizes thread names to prevent invalid characters from breaking. Not clear. Now reports the architecture tag correctly when attached to page. Not clear. Support the program specific HTML manual content overrides was added for non HBL ticket context. Not a clue. See what I mean? This is all stuff that happens in the background. We all just appreciate that it works and we none of us know what's going on. Well, I say none of us, most of you probably do know, but I'm just too lazy to work out. I I just use atmosphere for what it is. Play games. A bug was fixed in how MU MMC constructed alternative directory path. Previously it was Nintendo Nintendo, it's now Star Nintendo. So that looks like it was a folder within a folder, Nintendo within the Nintendo. Um, code was added to automatically move the old folders to new ones and boot into MUCC. That's good, so you don't have to worry about this, it'll fix it for you. Um, bug was fixed in boot that caused incorrectly low input voltage limit to be set. Not clear. And uh, as always, general stability improvements to enhance user experience. I don't know if they are just taking the mick out of Nintendo because that's what Nintendo put on their updates. Um, it might be that they're just going, oh, Nintendo put it, why don't we? But I guarantee you're doing lots of little bits and um, fixing some memory leaks and things like that, make it work. Um, there is nothing here about Wi-Fi. Um, a lot of you who watch this, um, mainly Malaysian, um, I've heard that on a Malaysian Facebook page, you've got so lots of people piping up about Wi-Fi not working. Maybe this fixes it. I don't know. Um, I've had no. I updated my non um, homebrew switch to fifteen point zero point zero yesterday. It's worked fine. I've been playing games online, um, and it's found the Wi-Fi perfectly fine. I don't know what you guys are experiencing. I don't know if it's something to do with atmosphere. Let me know if this fixes it. So update, um, and then hopefully your Wi-Fi does come back. But for what I heard is that you can't access Wi-Fi, but you can access um, like a hotspot, which is a bit weird. So it might be something to do with the Wi-Fi signals being sent. Uh, the switch can't pick it up because your hotspot would obviously be a different type of signal. Um, but please let me know if it fixes anything. And let's just scroll through here. Um, and that is it. See, so yeah, 30th of April is the last one. We're talking six months, which is just great that it's worked for six months and you haven't had to do bug fixes and all that but anyway let me know if you have any issues with this version that is released um, and we will get this installed on my switch as soon as I finish recording this video I want to get out for you guys straight away though so if you see it if you're watching this and listening to this it should work anyway thank you very much guys you take care